We're here with the foster siblings, Jake on the left, Hannah in the middle, Carson on the right. So what's it like being in a meet like this all together? Um, it's pretty fun. I mean, we've grown up always swimming together and um, it's something special that we have. And so, you know, going into every meet, big or small, we know that like we always have each other and that's just something that I think eases the nerves and then makes it a thousand times more fun. Yeah. So these guys have both won events. What is it like for you watching them and not being upstairs, being right there at the heart of the action, watching them win events? It's insane. I mean, I get just as nervous watching them, um, and it's awesome being on deck. I get to be right there. I watch with my coach, and um, I like I'm there every day with Jake and Carson at practice, so I know how hard they work, and um, I was just so excited. Yeah. So Carson, let's start with you. You've won the two fly two back now. Um, what's your focus? Uh, two back's obviously the event you have for World Juniors. So you think that's your best event, and how do you think you stepped up tonight? Um. I think it is probably my best event now, and I think just training with Ken Heiss and Mason Manorays, I think it's all around we have a great team, and it's easy to train hard there, it's easy yeah. to go work hard there, so I think just focusing on the 200s and just training with everyone, we have a great training group, I think it's really helped me. What's it like winning in events at meet like this? It's, it's crazy, last year, uh, just coming to the meet, last year was my first time at a Summer Junior Nationals, so just placing or getting into finals is a big thing for me last year and then coming here this year and winning an event is way more than I could mm -hmm. ask for. And then um, Jake, you won the 400 AM tonight. You seem pretty pumped about that to, to get under 420. Um, what did that swim mean to you and again to be part of it, you know, two out of three boys wins on the night in the family. Um, so what did that all mean? Well, going under 420 was a big goal of mine coming into this meet, so I was really excited that I was able to do it. And I was grateful that I had Carson as a training partner leading up to this meet in the four, like in all the IMs, because in practice we both push each other a lot. So mm -hmm. I feel like I a lot of the credits also due to Carson because he's yeah. helped me get to where I am. So you guys are going to race in the 200 IM, I know, your top two seeds, I think. Um, so. What's it like when you two race? Who has, the, especially in an IM, who has the advantage where? Um. It's it's funny, it's kind of opposite. I'm more of a front half guy and he's the back half, so it kind of switches throughout the race and yep. that makes the race really fun. It makes it kind of crazy though. And it's kind of stressful to me against him because you know he's going to come back after the back shirt and catch you on the breast shirt, so it's not too fun being on the other <laughs> end of that, but it's a good race coming yeah. It's pretty competitive also, but it's also a lot of fun being able to race your brother and possibly go one-two with him. What do you think watching them swim against each other? Uh, I think it's so funny. Um, they do it every day in practice and um, hearing them talk about, you know, what each other are going to go and like uh, how one needs to go faster and this and the other needs to go faster and that part of the race, it's so funny um, mm -hmm. to me, but it's, I love watching other people react to it too because it's crazy. Yeah. So, do you guys get like mad at each other ever because yeah. of swimming? Uh, yeah. Because of swimming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Explain. We're, we're all so close because we've grown up like in a competitive. We all we're in the same group, so there's a little bit of fighting at practice sometimes, but it's all only because we care about each other. And we're probably anyone in our group would tell you we're super close, and it's mm -hmm. all just us. It's out of love. Each other. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you guys, do you guys ever like, uh, like you know, vicious competition? Is that like ever you know get in the way of you know being siblings or? No, I think I think once we, it's we're focused at the pool. I think once we go home, it's like it's like it's swimming just a part of our life. And yeah, we're always gonna be there for each other. So I think that's probably the biggest thing going home and. We're always going to be a family and something's going to end someday, but we're always going to have each other. Yeah. Anything? No? Yeah. Um, so are you guys going to get to go watch Carson at World Juniors in a couple weeks? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we get, we'll we miss get. the first half because me and Hannah will be getting our wisdom teeth out. But then Ooh. We'll, Same day. I have yeah. to miss it. So. So but then we'll be, we'll be there for Carson's events on the last day, so we'll okay. definitely be there for that. What, what's, what's that going to be like? To, you know? But, you know, it's just gonna say Foster. That's all, that's all of you, and, and says USA. It's gonna be cool watching him race against people from other countries, because mostly, like last year, Carson was uh, struggling racing people as like close to his own age, and now he's excelling and uh, racing people from other countries who are older than him, 
Like he's gonna be like one of the youngest people there, so it'll be really yeah. cool to watch. Um, so to meet like this, uh, I, I know your, your dad's the chauffeur here. So does he? Is, is he waiting for you guys? Does he? Uh, how does he enjoy meets like this when you're? Um, you guys take your time warming down, and you're very hungry. It's late at night. You gotta be back for prelims tomorrow morning. Our dad like thrives on um, <laughs> this one meets. He loves it. Our mom. Uh, you know, she, we love her. She like doesn't. Um, she here? She's not here. She she's doesn't. A teacher. She's so a teacher. She yeah, she doesn't. She's not as good with the competitive stuff, which is hard because we're all three. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard to all three have a great meet. So there's always ups and downs. But like, um, our dad is so great. Um, both of our parents are. They're so supportive. And our mom adds like the kind of the balancing out because our dad like really yeah. loves the meets, and our mom is kind of like. It's just something like more, yeah. like more about the relationship part of swimming, like sure. forming like all the friendships and all that kind of stuff. So what's the car ride home if someone has a good swim and someone doesn't? Uh, <laughs> um, well, I think it depends on who it is. I guess like it's, it's always hard because like there's always like it's never going to be perfect. But, um, you know, we do our best. You know, our dad always like tries to get on us like life isn't always fair. Like. So, like, appreciate, like, the other people's success, um, and, you know, just, you know, there's always another swim, so, like, yeah. if you have a bad swim, just move on, and be happy for, you know, Jake or Carr, myself, um, for how, like, we did. And yeah. just realizing, like, the next swim can always be better, and, like, don't let, like, just one bad swim get in the way of, like, the whole meet. Yeah, well, it's a cool experience. You guys get to do this all together. Um, good luck tomorrow, these next three days, Thank and you. I'm sure we'll see you plenty more of you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.